What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Ghost. I'm coming to you from inside my truck. I'm sitting out here in Phoenix, Arizona. I am trying to get uh, unloaded so I can go back to Cali and I can continue on with what I'm trying to do. Um, today I'm dropping this video to speak on my first lease purchase. This is a part of my series of seven years in this game trials, tribulations, and everything I had been through to get to the point where I'm at today, being a fleet owner with my own authority and being my own boss. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Um, as you all know, if you watch the other videos and the other segments of this, I was sitting at uh, UPS. I had met up with um, Sinister and my homeboy. Uh, you know, we had went over everything about choice uh so after you know our little meet and greet and uh whatnot i had went home and i remember going home that night because my ex-wife was cooking and we sat down at the the dinner table and you know that's where we would just discuss you know everything like future plans and just everything that was going on so we were sitting down eating and um I had told her about the choice board and I was like, um, I heard that it's a pretty good deal. Uh, from what he's saying, I can make more money there. Uh, I can do this, I can do that, which I was like, you know, any I've learned in this industry, anytime somebody's saying, oh, the money's here, the money's here, to believe it to a certain extent, but then at the same time, have your own opinion about it. So, you know, I have my own opinion. Um, yeah, the money was probably there, but from what I was making at UPS, I was like, oh, I don't know if it'll be the same, but hey, it's worth a gamble because I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with my trucks anyway because I gotta get in compliance with emissions in California. So I figured, all right, what the hell, you know? Um, so I looked at Snyder, the choice, and then at the same time, we were talking about Landstar because we had seen a couple YouTube videos about a guy that had went to Landstar. So I was trying to, you know, check out Landstar's load board and I was trying to, you know, get a feel of it. Um, the same with Snyder's. Uh, but the only difference was with Landstar's, it, it just seemed very confusing and it wasn't really user friendly. And I didn't like the fact that the rates they had were before Landstar took their cut. So I'm just like, ooh, that sucks. So. And then when I called them, I was asking them, like, do they do lease purchases and blah, blah, blah. They were like, no. So I was just like, ah, I just have to buy my truck, which I'm like, that's not a problem. But I kind of wanted to do a lease purchase to figure out what this is all about. So with that being said, I end up um, calling Snyder. Snyder basically was very informative about, you know, what they had going on. Um, the lady, I think her name was like Mary or something like that. She basically broke it down to me and she told me like it was zero down, but they do do a, a soft credit check. So I was like, okay, cool, whatever, you know, I don't care. Um, my credit's good, so we're good. So they do the light, the soft credit check and then they, uh, uh, what else do they do? She was saying that they also, um, that they also uh, have like some program going on where I could get like a sign-on bonus, not only through Snyder, but also through SFI, Snyder Finance. So, you know, I had to apply for SFI, then I had to apply for Snyder, and that's how, you know, everything, um, you know, fused itself together. So, um, I started to, you know, do the little, I guess, onboarding process with them, because when she told me it was no money down, Plus, they'll put money in my maintenance account. I said, cool, you know, that's a win. I ain't got to come out of pocket, not only on the down payment, but at the same time, they're going to put money in my maintenance account, too. I was like, oh, I'm winning. I was like, sign me up, you know? What do I got to lose? Um, so I was like, well, you know, it is what it is. Let's, you know, let's just do something. So let's try it. Uh, so, you know, uh, me and the ex-wife, we agreed that you know Snyder would be the better choice and at least you know worst case win lose or draw I'm not out of no money with this doing this choice board I can just turn the truck in and keep it pushing as I thought um, so 
I started off, I did the little thing, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna document my experience with choice. And that's exactly what I did. That's when I first got on YouTube, was in, when I was in the hotel. Well, I was on YouTube before making videos here and there. Um, but I figured I would really document my series and I would really document, you know, my whole experience on choice. So that's what got me really on YouTube dropping videos. And um, I remember I rented a car to drive up there, went to Portland and picked the truck up. My first load uh, went from uh, Portland, Oregon to Shafter, California. I was all happy and, and ecstatic. You know, I was pumped up, you know, doing my lease. And I like, I ain't gonna lie, I like the lease purchase. The truck was cool, it was a 2014. It only had like maybe a 100,000 miles on it, if that. And um, it had a full EPU, the electronic um, air conditioning system, which was cool, you know, I used it. And um, I mean, I liked it, it was cool. So, you know, it was a 10 speed. I started documenting my little, you know, experience, and I enjoyed it. The money wasn't the same, I'll tell you that. From running teams to going over there, it wasn't the same. Then I found out that I couldn't put a team on the choice board, which also, I was like, a, ooh, it sucks. But at the same time, you know, I came, the choice board, yeah, even though I took pay cuts in certain aspects, I was home more, and I was trying to rectify what was going on at home. And um, and it just got to a point where I had to, you know, my home life started to outweigh my trucking life. Um, while I was with uh, on choice and I had started the whole process, uh, I we had also bought another truck that we had sitting, and we also had started an authority back then. Um, it was actually in remembrance of her mom because her mom had passed away, and her mom had a company. So, you know, we had established an authority and it basically, it wasn't called steel hogging or anything like that. So, you know, we were doing it to, you know, be in remembrance of like what her mom wanted to do for her company. It wasn't really a trucking company or anything like that, but you know, we were just trying to show pay homage. So we started this authority. Um, we actually were in the process of uh, we had one truck that we were going to put on it and we were going to eventually put the Snyder truck on it because we were in the, we were actually in the process because after one year at Snyder, that was when I was like, you know what, one year is up, the new contract is about to start. Um, and then we were going on, I think, year two. Yeah, we were going on year two when all the problems really started. So... Um, we were like, by year two, we were going to, you know, branch off, put this truck on under my own authority or just under this authority. And we were just making all the steps we needed to do because we were going to really branch out and just become our own carrier. So, you know, we had crunched the numbers. We had did everything we needed to do. But then, like I said before, our personal issues and personal life took a, a bigger toll on both of us so we figured it would be best for us to you know shake and split we just didn't know it was going to take out the whole everything that we were building in the process thanks to california so you know i ended up going through my divorce um i think my divorce we filed well i filed for everything in may of 2015 and around that same time it was just like i was hitting up snyder and you know i had told them look um this is what we're i'm going through a divorce um and california is telling me it's going to take me six months in order for us to get divorced and snyder they were just up like they basically told me that they don't want to be in the middle of it and i couldn't renew my contract to basically pull the truck off or just keep the truck until we rectified what was going on with the divorce. But since the divorce took six months, I mean, there was nothing that I could do about it. So then my ex-wife, I remember we were on a conference call with Snyder, with our rep, and she was just saying the same thing, like, well, per California law, you know, y'all gotta, once the divorce happens, that's when we can split everything up and 
he can redo the contract on his own and blah, blah, blah. So, like I told them, I mean, I just had to turn the truck in. So, I had to turn the truck in, and then at the same time, we just basically um, um, sold the company. Like, we shut down the authority and just everything else because, you know, we just, we couldn't come to terms just with this damn divorce. It was, like, holding us back from a lot of things. It's, it's a lot behind getting a divorce. So, that's what really messed up my whole experience with Snyder and with Choice. And then it was like having so many personal issues. I just, you know, having to juggle home versus being on the road, being an owner op. And then now, you know, I'm about to be single. I had to re reinvent and just figure out who I truly was again. And trying to do all that and trying to do a lease purchase and hold a trucking company down was just too much for me. So that's why I just basically, I just, I let go of everything. I just was like, F it, just threw my hands up. And I was like, this is too much, this is too much. So um, that's when I went into a dark place, a very dark place. So, and that is where I'm gonna tell y'all in the next video about the divorce and just everything that went with that. Cause, woo, I danced with the devil. But yeah, um, that was basically the end of my Snyder career because, or my lease purchase, because I wanted to keep the truck, but like I said, thanks to California and this whole divorce process, it completely railroaded everything for me. And me having to reinvent myself and figure out who I was again, because I was with somebody for what, seven years? It was a lot. So yeah, in the next video, you know, I'm gonna keep the story going about what happened after that turning the truck in and just my life after that because it took a wild ride so that being said love peace prosperity and i will catch y'all in the next video deuces